Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's eighth grade video, we will be reviewing the math concept, comparing and ordering real numbers. Let's get started. Remember eighth graders, you have brains in your head, your feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose by Dr. Seuss. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can receive alerts when we upload new videos. We will be using the 8th grade Star Math Review Workbook in this video. It is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Comparing and Ordering Numbers to compare and order numbers, follow these steps. Number one, change all numbers to the same form, either decimal or percent. Number two, compare. Number three, read instructions to order the numbers. So let's look at some examples. Compare using less than, greater than, or equal to, number one, eight ninths, and we're going to compare it to 90%. Number two, the square root of 16 and the square root of 8. Number three, 6 twelfths, comparing it to 50%. And number four, negative 0 0.87 and negative 8 ninths. First, let's look at number one, 8 ninths, and we're going to compare it to 90%. We said that step one, we need to change all numbers to the same form, and we are going to change both of these numbers to decimals. In order to do that, in our calculator, we can um, type in 8 divided by 9, and that is equal to 0.88, rounded to the nearest hundredth, and for 90%, in order to change it into a decimal, we drop the percent sign and we move our decimal two places to the left. That makes it 0 0.90. So 8 ninths is equal to 0.88 and 90% is equal to 0 0.90. In our comparison, we can see that 0.88 is less than 0 0.90 okay and that's our less than sign one way we can also remember is that our inequality sign always opens up to the larger number okay our inequality sign the sign the mouth of the inequality sign always opens up to the largest number let's look at number two the square root of 16 and the square root of 8. We are going to change both numbers to um, a decimal. The square root of 16 is a perfect square. It's equal to 4. And the square root of 8 is 2.83. And we there's a video where we review how to find the square root and there will be a box, there will be a link up above so that you square roots. And looking at our numbers 4 and 2.83, we can see that 4 is greater than 2.83 or another way we can say it is that the square root of 16 is greater than the square root of 8. Let's look at number three. We have six twelfths and also 50%. Again, we for step one, we are changing all our numbers to the same form. Six twelfths is equal to 0 0.50 and 50%, we want to drop the percent and convert it to a decimal. We need to move our decimal place our decimal two places to the left and essentially in you moving it two places to the left you are dividing by 100 so we have 0 0.50 and 0 0.50 then 
we know we are going to use the equal sign. So 6 twelfths is equal to 50%. Let's look at number 4. We have negative 0 0.87 and also negative 8 ninths. The negative 8.0.87 is already a decimal. The only thing that we need to convert is the negative 8 ninths. In our calculator, we put in 8 divided the division sign 9, and it is negative 0 0.88 rounded to the nearest hundredth. In our comparison, we see that negative 0.87 is greater than negative 0.88. So let's take a moment to discuss this because you can think that, okay, well, 0.88 is greater than 0.87. However, because there's a negative sign in front of both numbers, we know that smaller negative numbers are actually greater than large negative numbers, okay? So negative 0.87 is greater than negative 0 0.88, or another way we can say it is that negative 0 0.87 is greater than negative 8 ninths. Let's go to number four. This is problem number four in the eighth grade math review workbook. Which list shows these numbers in order from least to greatest? Our numbers are 37 over 6, negative 5.17, the square root of 33, and negative 26 over 5. Our answer choices are F, negative 26 over 5, negative 5.17, 36, 37 over 6, and the square root of 33. G, negative 5.17, negative 26 over 5, 37 over 6, the square root of 33. H, negative 26 over 5, negative 5.17, the square root of 33, 37 over 6, and lastly, J, negative 5.17, negative 26 over 5, the square root of 33, and 37 over 6. The first question we are going to ask ourselves is what are we looking for? This will help us determine what information we need and also how to solve the problem. What are we looking for? We're looking for the list that shows the numbers in order from least to greatest. Okay, what information can help us find the answer? In order for us to be able to see which answer choice is correct, we need to convert all of the numbers and we've chosen to convert them into decimals. 37 over 6 is equal to 6.17. Negative 5.17 is already a decimal, so there's nothing we need to do to it. The square root of 33 is equal to 5.74. And negative 26 over 5 is equal to negative 5.12. How do we solve the problem? Okay, in order for us to solve the problem, we need to list our numbers from least to greatest. So let's go back and look at our conversions to see what is the correct answer, okay? And remember, we said that the larger the negative number, that's the smallest number, okay? Okay, let's look. And also, when you are taking time to 
look at and find what is the correct answer. Also cross out what you know is the wrong answer because that can increase your chances of getting the answer correct, okay? And a hint that I will give, so we said that the larger the negative number, it's the least number or the smallest number, then based on that information, I know that negative 26 over 5, since it's negative 5.2, that should be the first number. Okay, that should be the first number in ordering it from least to greatest because that's the smallest number. Which means G and J are incorrect. We can cross those out, okay? What is the correct answer? The correct answer is H. Our list from least to greatest is negative 26 over 5, then negative 5.17, the square root of 33, and 37 over 6. Let's look at number 5 in the workbook. Four plumbers estimated the length of the radius of a cylindrical pipe. The estimates made by the plumbers are listed. Which list shows the numbers from least to greatest? I'm sorry, forgive me, from greatest to least. Let me read that one more time. Which list shows the numbers from greatest to least? Okay, and let's look at the information we have. We see, oh, I didn't change the... The plumbers. Plumber W estimated that the radius had a length of 3 over 25 inches. And then we have, oh, that should be plumber WXYZ. It should be plumber X. Hold on just one second. I will be back. Let me change this right quick. All right, I am back and I have changed the information and I'm totally okay with not editing this out that Miss Jackson made a mistake because guess what? We all make mistakes and I would rather let you know that, hey, I make mistakes too, but I am trying and I'm able to fix them. All right, so again, Plumber W estimated that the radius had a length of 3 over 25 inches. Plumber X estimated that the radius had a length of the square root of 3 over 11. Plumber Y estimated that the radius had a length of 9 over 100 inches. And Plumber Z estimated that the radius had a length of pi over 24 inches. So let's look at our answer choices. And remember, we are listing the numbers from greatest to least. A, 9 over 100, pi over 24, 3 over 25, or the square root of 3 over 11. B, the square root of, the square root of 3 over 11, pi over 24, 3 over 25, 9 over 100. C, 9 over 100, 3 over 25, pi over 24, the square root of 3 over 11, or D, the square root of 3 over 11, 3 over 25, the pi, um, pi over 24, or 9 over 100. What are we looking for? Again, we are looking for the list that shows the numbers from greatest to least. What information can help us find the answer? Okay, again, like we said before, we need to convert our numbers to the same format in order for us to compare them. We are going to convert them into decimals. So 3 over 25 inches is equal to 0 0.12 inches. The square root of 3 over 11 inches is equal to 0 0.16 inches. 
9 over 100 inches is equal to 0 0.09 inches and pi over 24 inches is equal to 0 0.13 inches and again remember we want the list from greatest to least in looking at the information and let's go back again let's go back again so that we can see how we should order our numbers from greatest to least and remember what I said on question number four once we know what the greatest number is and based on this information it is going to be the square root of 3 over 11 that means we immediately know that a and C are wrong because we are ordering from greatest to least since we have a and C out the way now we can focus on the list um, B's list and also answer choice D's list so take a moment all right what can we say is the correct answer if you said answer choice B you are absolutely correct in ordering the numbers from greatest to least answer choice B is the list that does that and that is it for comparing and ordering numbers remember we have our eighth grade math review workbook for purchase in our store the link will be in the description box this has been Shay Jackson with Hype Math and I'll talk to you later